Arcadi's unique culture is recognized worldwide and has put you on the great place to work list for the fourth year in a row. What are the principles to put into actions, to put people forward, and why is it so important for Bacardi? So, um, first, I mean, let's remember that Bacardi is a family company. Mm -hmm. So, um, since we're going to celebrate in February our 160 years birthday. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, uh, and indeed, as a fam family company, so um, we do the right thing long term. So it's really important for uh, for management and indeed, I mean, uh, the way to move forward. Why the company culture is so unique, if I can summarize it, um, the three F as we use uh, <laughs> in the company, family, founders, fearless. So um, it does mean that um, indeed you need to think that the company is like yours and you are always encouraged to act and think like an entrepreneur. So, and it means that on a management standpoint, so I mean, you can always come with somehow bold ideas mm -hmm. and follow them as long as, I mean, uh, you have a rele relevant business case behind. So it's really what makes us unique and especially our culture. Considering the increasingly popular shift in non-alcoholic beverage consumptions, especially for millennials and Gen Z, does Bacardi plan to extend its offer in this category and is the economic different for it? So um, we saw it actually with the pandemic. Mm. Okay, so where uh, there is, let's say, more and more people who want to take care about themselves. Definitely. So, um, and indeed, I mean, uh, you know, in the spirit industry, so the trends, um, it's really for the long term. So a trend takes 10, 15, 20 years mm -hmm. so to happen. We have started, so I mean, uh, with um, key product like Martini Fierro, so which has a low ABV, uh, Saint Germain, so which is a French liqueur, so uh, fantastic for Hugo cocktail. <laughs> And also we launched um, Martini Fiorreal e Vibrante, um, which is a non-alcoholic proposal. So we launched it in few markets. I think what is important is um, people long-term drink less and better. So and it's something that we are constantly reviewing uh, through the cycle of innovation, which what I understand is going to be very important for you this year. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so my third question is about sourcing and protecting the environment. Would you say it is the responsibility of leading companies to preserve resources and ensure a future for the populations depending on them? Yes, indeed. <laughs> so I, I think that, I mean, uh, now it's not anymore a question. So it's, it's clearly a, a mandate. So when we need to be as fast as possible, um, to make um, most of the business, I mean, uh, sustainable, okay, uh, and especially us as a food and beverage uh, actor uh, on that perspective. So, as a company, um, we have very clear commitment. So, uh, by 2030, we're going to be plastic free. Okay. By 2025, most of our key ingredients will be certified sustainable. Okay. We started actually with uh, Bombay Sapphire, our gin, mm -hmm. where our 10k ingredients uh, are on the way to get certified sustainable and we did here. So uh, we are in Piemonte, so in the region of Asti. So when our grapes are going to be very quickly um, certified sustainable. Um, with the fast development of technology and IA, what is your vision of tomorrow's sales and marketing careers in the industry? So, um, j just to put a bit of perspective, so I mean, uh, you know, the, I used to be a student 20 years ago. <laughs> so, and indeed we're talking about this already 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. There was already some uh, uh, master dedicated to e-commerce and marketing e-commerce. Mm -hmm. So what we see as a spirit industry, so uh, the e-com, so is still a relatively low share versus other industries. So and it's clearly for us um, a big focus uh, in terms of um, capabilities building, 
uh, we do see it as a, an entire transformation. Okay, so I mean, uh, and on that perspective, everybody in the company needs to learn these skills in terms of e-commerce, uh, especially and EA. Uh, the second thing which is relevant to uh, consider, the consumer are different on e-com. Okay, so they have much, I mean, when you go to a bar, so you, usually you follow the recommendation of a bartender. Definitely. Or you have a look on the menu. Okay, and this is, uh, let's say, the key must-win battle when you are in on-trade. In e-commerce, it's different skills. So people tend to have time to uh, read the product. So I mean, to understand how it can be done. And indeed for us, uh, it means that we need to adapt the proposal. What I mean by that is, I think on e-commerce, uh, the best thing in order to generate uh, rotation is to sell proposal, to sell a cocktail ready to, um, to mix. On that perspective, for example, uh, we launched um, Americano Kit with okay. Martini Reserva Speciale. Uh, we are also um, doing kit with Saint Germain Hugo Kit. So we're we are sending solutions, so uh, where uh, and the shoppers on Ecom are very much interested, meaning that you are not selling more a bottle, you are selling a bottle, a shakers, a training in order to make a cocktail. And and on that perspective, I think that for us it's um, it's a great area, and it's um, and it's something that we are starting to activate in a, with a very high focus. Okay. And and clearly, I mean, we see a lot of careers development on, on that area. And uh, mixing, let's say, the knowledge of the, if I may say, the traditional spirit world mm -hmm. and the way to sell it in a completely different way in e-commerce.